Okay, hello everyone, welcome back. I gotta do this over again because <laughs> my video, my audio didn't record. Anyways, I don't mind. So welcome back everyone to Let's Procreate Together. Uh, if you're, if you hear a lot of noise, splashing, uh, wind noise, and right kids, <laughs> thanks. Uh, it's because I'm at the uh, community pool here, and uh, I'm enjoying myself. So, anyways, rode the bike here. Oh man, feels great, nice and cool. Uh, they just opened the pool. It's a Memorial Day weekend. So uh, a lot of kids are out here, uh, and this pool just opened up. The other pool, they've, they've opened and it had, uh, man, it was getting dirty. I was there yesterday, Friday, last day of school. Wife came home early. We went out with the youngest, and, uh, man, that pool was getting dirty. This one here, the pool's kind of nice, kind of nice. Anyway, let's see what I've been doing. So this is some of the things that I've been doing and I've been up to. Oh man, I got a nice cool breeze. Well, it's a humid breeze, but I have my uh, my buff. I have my buff on, my hat, my shirt, uh, tights, uh, outdoor socks, and uh, sandals on. And I I just jump in. I just jump in and come out. I'm all wet, and I let the uh, water evaporate. So it's really humid air. But by the time it hits me, it turns into nice cool air. Anyways, this is uh, some of the, my thumbnails I've been working on. This is kind of what it looks like right here. So uh, instead of using like the text function, I figured let's make some text, although I'm just handwriting it. That's what I like about the pen. I even signed this little uh, thumbnail just for fun. <laughs> of course, that's not really me, but anyways, so having a lot of fun with it. Uh, sometimes I'll put the text in and then they're missing, um, they're missing a, a a text uh, show card gothic is what I use for my uh, uh, electric bike videos um, so I don't put the text in I'll do stuff like this I'll draw some something interesting just to make fun uh, thumbnails but that's just me I'm just having some fun and uh, but yeah when I when I uh, the uh, the main text uh, of, of the thumbnail, I'll usually just leave, uh, do that in the video editor because that video editor has the text show card gothic that I use quite a lot. And the other thing I don't like about the Procreate texting, or the Procreate text, is, uh, let me see if I could show it right here. Uh, let's add, add, a uh, add text. Well, first of all, it doesn't have the, uh, it does not have the text that I use, which is show card gothic. The other thing that I've noticed, or I can't find a way to do, maybe there there is or isn't, um, is it doesn't outline the text. I usually like to have black outline or sometimes white outline, depending on the on the photo or the thumbnail. I guess this function here, if you make a text and you make another text you can overlay it using this thing here or something I'm not sure anyways it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't outline it and so uh, that's another reason why I don't use the text in um, Procreate for my thumbnails typically I don't anyways Let's get rid of this thing here. Uh, should delete that or cancel? Cancel. How do I get rid of this thing? Uh, I'm trying to undo this thing. Well, you know what? There's an easier way to do this. Uh, there you go. I'll just delete it. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. And so that's kind of what I've been working on my thumbnails. You've probably seen some of them. I ride the uh, electric bike, do 360 videos, and whatever, whatnot. So, so 
let me see. Let's have a look at my artwork. Okay, so here's my artwork. This is what I've been working on right here, this thing. And uh, let's put a white background, make it look a little bit better, maybe. So that's what I've been... It's tedious to do this. Um, photorealism... It's a tedious work. It uh, takes a lot, and I'm not fast about it. It's literally, I'm just using the tip of the pencil, and I'm... Most, most, most of the brushes that I use uh, is either ink for outlining and then uh, airbrush. That's about it. I don't use paint or charcoal yet um, because I'm just coloring in pixels at this point. And that's kind of where I'm at. I don't know if I'm going to do this whole thing or leave it. Um, I'm not sure. But this is what I've got. And you know, for someone like me, when you, when you have time to do what you want to do, and you know you're not worried about uh, deadlines or you're not being paid to do this you're doing it because you enjoy it you know you could take however long you want really um, another thing is it's kinda like doing this I did this just for fun just to do it but essentially this is kinda what I'm doing I'm just taking the tip of the this is an in ink but I'm just literally just tapping on the screen coloring pixels for the most part and uh, that's essentially what I'm doing so my next project is well not my next project but once I get kinda tired of doing something I'll maybe move on to something else just to change things up but I'm doing the same thing it's just a different challenge but uh, here's what I've gotten done so far and uh, let's uh, do that there so this is kind of what you're looking at now. That's about it. When you really look at things and you and you kind of zoom in on stuff, it doesn't really look like much of anything. It looks kind of weird, actually. It looks almost bizarre, I would have to say. But uh, anyways, let's let's see what what it really is. And this is it right here. I think I talked about it before. But when I usually start something, I usually start with something that's the most interesting. Usually the most forefront, but the most interesting that I want to work with. And this little tiny part right here, man, that's been a challenge. Uh, just doing this alone has been a challenge. And it's kind of been a challenge. Uh, but I just want to make this the most realistic part. Everything else, um, I think I can... I can kind of get away with doing more like a brush stroke or using the ink brush or whatever brush I want to use to kind of just, you know, symbolize it's a leaf or a tree or a board or the, the, the flower pot or the dirt. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this one. I just thought this area right here was the most interesting part maybe even the flowers and the petals and the pistils and the, and the pollination and all that uh, you know it when you zoom into something it just really changes the whole aspect of it you know when you look at it th like this it just really becomes like another piece of uh, artwork altogether just looking at it like that and when I take it out you know just become something else. Anyways, that's what I'm working on right now. Let's just take it out and just... And that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I've been working a couple days just on that alone, but I'll see what I'll do with the rest of the artwork here. And that's kind of what I've been doing here. Man, I've been enjoying myself. What I like about the Procreate app is it's, you know... It's so it works really great. It's just like drawing on a tablet, or or almost like drawing. And uh, the pencil is pretty awesome. Um, I have the iPad Air, so it has a phone phone jack, 200 and some odd gigs of uh, memory. So I'm taking a lot of pictures. Uh, some of the memory for the Procreate app is about one meg so far. I, I'm assuming it'll probably grow as I start using this more and more often. And uh, and all the photos I'll, I'm taking, and also you know the pencil and 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 using the tablet as a drawing surface is 
amazing. Uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, it's it's very intuitive, if you, and uh, I'm enjoying. Even though I just use just the tip, I don't use too much. Uh, I don't use anything intricate. I don't use mask or anything like that. Uh, I do use the selection tool and then go on to a different layer. Usually after I outline, I'll fill it in and then I'll use the selection tool and then I'll move on a different layer to get into more detail and then layer and layer on top of that but I don't really mask or or lock or anything it's like in this one right here I'm just working straight yeah just straight on a layer for the most part so anyways I'm out here at the pool I'm really enjoying myself Man, I rode the electric bike out here today, and uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. Kids are out of school. Parents have the weekend off, or most of the weekend off. I don't know where my child is. She's uh, having too much fun. Eventually, we're going to go home because I didn't bring any snacks, so I know she's going to get hungry eventually. And I'm starting to get hungry just being out here and uh, working on my uh, digital artwork. Anyways, let's see, uh, how much time have I used on this? Oh, i also been listening to, uh, oh, 11 minutes. I've also been listening to a lot of Amazon music, and so I'm out here listening to music as well. Really, in, really loving drawing and listening to music, being out in the uh, it's nice sunny day at the resort pool. I mean, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Anyways, uh, anyways, this is the end of this end session of Let's Procreate. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all later. Bye.